2024 Preface of the Taiwan Health and Welfare Report As Taiwan transitions from the nationwide COVID-19 response, the Ministry of Health and Welfare has been actively implementing two key policy pillars. Lifelong comprehensive care and globally synchronized health and welfare improvements. These initiatives aim to create a supportive environment for both physical and mental health. The challenges of an aging society and declining birth rates are receiving significant attention. In response to the growing number of solitary elderly individuals, the Ministry has launched the Enhanced Care Service Plan for the Solitary Elderly, with the goals of improving home safety, strengthening social connections, and providing functional assessment services for the elderly. By detecting early signs of functional decline and implementing timely interventions, the plan seeks to prevent or delay the onset of disabilities. Moreover, subsidies for infertility treatments have been expanded to ease the financial burden on couples. Additional childcare allowances and subsidies have been introduced, alongside the ongoing efforts to promote publicly provided childcare services. The pediatric healthcare system has been optimized and perinatal care networks have been expanded. A medical cooperation mechanism for children with rare and severe conditions has been established. And newborns are included in the project of holistic physicians for young children as of 2023, ensuring that children in Taiwan receive comprehensive and integrated care for healthy development. To promote health equity for indigenous peoples, the Ministry has enacted the Indigenous Peoples Health Act, organized the Health Policy Conference of Indigenous Peoples, and established the National Indigenous Peoples Health Research Center. The Tobacco Hazards Prevention Act has been amended to completely ban electronic cigarettes and strictly regulate new tobacco products. We have implemented the five-point food safety policy to further strengthen food safety. The regulations on good practices for drug dispensation have been enforced to elevate the quality of pharmaceutical services in Taiwan. In response to the 2023 local dengue fever outbreak, the Dengue Fever Mobile Epidemic Prevention Team was established to oversee and guide local governments on site in implementing prevention measures with full efforts to stop the spread of the epidemic. The 12 strategies under the Nursing Workforce Preparation Plan have been launched to address the nursing personnel shortage through inter-ministerial collaboration. These strategies focus on improving working conditions and benefits for nurses, encouraging hospitals to publicly disclose workplace conditions, and fostering a positive nursing environment. Additionally, non-litigation medical dispute resolution mechanisms have been strengthened by implementing the diverse two-way medical dispute resolution mechanism to reduce medical disputes and promoting harmony between healthcare providers and patients. The salary system for social workers in private organizations has been adjusted to encourage frontline professionals to remain in their positions, thereby reinforcing the social safety net. In 2023, the Me Too movement gained significant momentum in Taiwan in response, the Ministry, in collaboration with the Executive Yuan, conducted a comprehensive review of the three gender equality laws and amended the Sexual Harassment Prevention Act. To further strengthen the protection and support system, the Ministry established the Sexual Image Abuse Reporting Center, which provides assistance and services to victims of sexual image dissemination or threats. The center swiftly removes harmful content, helping prevent further victimization. At the 76th WHA, former minister Jiu Yuan Shui led the WHO action team. In advocating for bilateral meetings with key countries and international health organizations, hosting professional forums, holding international press conferences, and actively participating in related professional meetings, demonstrating Taiwan's commitment to global health affairs. In the post-pandemic era, the Ministry remains committed to promoting the health and well-being of all citizens, continuously investing in public health, and realizing the vision of a healthy Taiwan.